Hi everyone, Kevin here. Today, we are going to look at how you can 10X your PowerPoint skills using AI. If you've ever pulled together a presentation that looks like this, don't worry, you're not alone. That's what just about all of my presentations look like. But with the help of AI, you can make your presentation look like this. And that only took a few clicks. With AI, you can not only make your presentation look like a designer pulled it together, but you can also become both a better speaker and also presenter. Let's find out how. Here I am in PowerPoint, and I'm pulling together a presentation for the company meeting for the Kevin Cookie Company. And I think we can all agree that this slide is uninspiring. Let's see if AI can help us make this look better. Up in the top left-hand corner, let's click on the Home tab, and all the way over on the right-hand side, there's a feature called Designer. Let's click on this. This opens up the Designer pane over on the right-hand side, and here I see all of these different slide suggestions that promise an instant makeover of my slide. Designer looks at the contents of the slide and makes recommendations based on that. So here I talk about a company meeting. So here I see all these company people meeting. So here's a nice one with video, and here I also have some static images, and I can look through all of these different designs. At the very bottom, I could also click on see more designs, and here I get even more options that I can insert. Here's another video option, and here I have some more static image options. Now, I think this first one looks good, so all I need to do is simply click on this file, and that now instantly makes over my slide. And this looks a lot better. In fact, I would say a designer pulled something like this together. That looks really nice. Now that I've inserted this new design, in the top right-hand corner here, I'll close Designer. If I click on Designer again, here it'll now generate new design recommendations that take into account the new design that I have in this slide. Now, overall, I'm happy with this design, so here I'll close Designer. Over on the left-hand side, I'm going to paste in some additional slides that I'd like to include in this presentation. And one of the neat things is these additional slides now leverage the design from the first slide. So that way, all my slides have a nice, consistent look. Although the slides all have a consistent look, this one doesn't look nearly as impressive as my first slide. Here, I have a slide talking about customer feedback at the Kevin Cookie Company. Now, let's just say that there's a little bit of mixed feedback, but we're working on this. Let's again see if Designer can help us here. In the top right-hand corner, I'll click on Designer. This now generates a number of different design ideas. And one of the really nice things is, you'll notice that the color scheme matches the initial color scheme from my first slide. So this way I can maintain a nice uniform look. Now, I think this first suggestion looks pretty good. So here, I'll click on this, and this automatically transforms my slide. And one of the really neat things, here's some of the content on my slide. I have the feedback, rude, expensive, and delicious. And you'll notice that all of these icons match the different context or the text on the slide. That's pretty cool. If for whatever reason the icon doesn't match exactly what you're trying to communicate, it's very easy to change. Here, I could right-click on the icon. And right down here, there's the option to change the graphic. Here, I could click on From Icons. And here I have all of these different options of icons that I can insert. And here I can even search against all of the icons. Moving on to the next slide, we are opening up some new cookie stores in all of these different cities. If you happen to live in one of these cities, consider yourself very lucky. Ideally, I'd like to represent all of these different opening dates on a timeline, but that takes a lot of work to pull together in PowerPoint. Let's click on Designer to see if that can help. This opens up all of the different design ideas, and there are some very attractive looking slides, but I really want a timeline. If I scroll down just a little bit, here's a very nice looking option. Here, I'll click on this, and this inserts the slide design. And look at that, here I have this nice timeline with a visual indicator of when all of these different locations are opening up. This looks really nice. If you want to see even more timeline options, you can simply go up to the top right-hand corner, close Designer, and then reopen Designer. And here, it'll suggest all these different options with timelines. So you could go through all these different styles to see what works the best for you. One of the really neat things is you could simply leave the Designer pane open. And here, when I click into the next slide, here we outline our path to profitability. Here, you'll see Designer automatically updates with different design options for this slide. And I think this one looks pretty good, so I'll select that. And just like this, my slide deck is starting to look so much better than it did before. 
Moving on to the next slide, I would like to include a message from our CEO. And I think the best way to do this is to include a live video. Up on top, let's click on insert and there's a new option called Cameo. If you'd like to learn all about including live video in your presentations, be sure to check out the video right up above. Here, I'll insert a Cameo and look at that, I am now included on my slide in real time. The really neat thing is here in the designer pane, this incorporates different live video feeds into these different designs. So here, let's select this one. This slide looks pretty nice and you can now see my video on the slide. This is pretty epic. Let's now move on to the last slide in this presentation. On this last slide here, I just have a big blurb of text and we all know that this is a guaranteed way to get people to tune out. So let's see if I could use AI to auto summarize this text. Here I am on OpenAI's website and I want to use the DaVinci 3 text model. If you'd like to test this out, you could click on the link up above or also down below in the description. Here I'll paste in that text from the slide and I've included some additional text that says summarize this text into three bullet points. Let's see what it comes up with. I'll click on submit. So I've submitted my instruction and here I see the three bullet points at the bottom. So here launched a new cookie, double double chocolate chip. That was one of the main things we did this past year. Here it also says expanded into 25 countries and increased online sales by 50% and then invested in production facilities, research and development, resulting in innovative new products. And honestly, that does a pretty good job of summing up this big paragraph of text. Here I'll copy these three bullet points and let's bring it back into PowerPoint. Here I've pasted all of those bullet points into PowerPoint and this looks so much better, but you probably know what we're going to do next. Back on the home tab over on the right hand side, let's click on designer. And here we have some beautiful designs. Let's go with this one, the future. And then here I have my bullet points. This is looking so much better. Now that AI has helped us make these slides look so much more beautiful. Let's see how it can help us become better presenters and also speakers. Here I am now in PowerPoint on the web and up on top, let's click on the tab titled slideshow. And right here, there's the option to rehearse with coach. This is also available in the desktop app, but the feature is a little bit richer on the web. So I'm going to use it here. If you click on this dropdown, you have a few different options that you can set, but I'm all set to go. So let's click on rehearse with coach. This now opens up my presentation and in the bottom right hand corner, I see a welcome message from my new personal AI coach. And down at the very bottom, I can turn on real time feedback. That sounds interesting. So I will leave that on and then click on start rehearsing. And yeah, uh, this is the company oh. meeting. Oh yeah, and don't use filler words and look at the camera and look at all that feedback I'm getting. Thank you coach, this is great. I can advance through all of my slides and I could speak to them and I could practice my delivery. Customer feedback, people love us. You can look at all the feedback right there. We have lots of new cookie stores opening up and you just run through your presentation. Once you're all done, simply exit out of your presentation and then you get a rehearsal report. In this report, you get a summary. Here I can see that I was using a lot of filler words. Here I can see information about my pacing, my pitch over the entire presentation. I even get feedback on my body language. Here I wasn't always maintaining eye contact and here I see that feedback with examples of when I wasn't maintaining eye contact. This is an excellent way to improve your speaking and presentation skills, all thanks to AI. Along with making you a better speaker, you can also use AI to make your presentations more accessible. Up under the slideshow tab up on top, you'll see an option for always use subtitles. When I click on this dropdown, you can select the spoken language. I'll be speaking in English, so I'll make sure to select this. And over here, you can select your subtitle language and it doesn't necessarily have to be the language that you're speaking in. It's currently set to English, but maybe I want my subtitles to appear in German. I'll select that. Down below, you can also select the location of your subtitles. I will leave it set to below slide. And over here, I'll click on from beginning to start presenting my slides. And this now launches my presentation. If I move my mouse to the bottom left hand corner, I see all these different controls and here I'll click on this one to show my subtitles. Now at the very bottom of my slide, we can see these subtitles appear as I'm speaking. Now I'm speaking in English, but these subtitles are showing up in German. It's pretty phenomenal how AI can detect what I'm saying 
and then translate it in real time into another language. This makes presentations so much more accessible to people throughout the world. Hopefully now, none of us ever have to sit through a boring PowerPoint presentation again. That is, as long as we all still have jobs and AI doesn't just completely take over. To watch more videos like this one, please consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next video.